Should we move to the bedroom? Yeah. Another interruption. But this time it's only room service. I ordered uh, fondue and champagne. Okay. Oh, well, we can enjoy that later. Because nothing's going to stop us now. You've got me joking. Room service. Get out of here. Ah, we have a wonderful fondue here. Not very original, but no oysters. <sighs> this takes stalking to a whole new level. What are you doing here? I told you to leave me alone. Why are you here? Obviously, you didn't get my message. What message? About face on. Oh, this is ridiculous. Get out of here. Face on. You called me Fa about face on. Face on's alive. Yes. AJ Quartermain's well, got I evidence. I want to explain something to you. Look, AJ took a photograph of that clinic that you and Luke went to looking for Robin. I, I mean, need this to tell can't you be a something. coincidence. It's true. Our uh, doctor confirmed the face on was a patient. This was after the supposed boat explosion. Yeah, he's alive. I mean, there's your proof. I know. You do? Yes. I've seen Faison. In the flesh. Seen him where? Right here. In this room. So I've advised Interpol and they'll find Faison, I hope. Find him? He's right here. What do you think I'm Faison? What do you mean? <gasps> that Faison was in this room. Well, uh, well what she meant was that... Huh? Uh, she doesn't believe this is the real Duke Lavery, right? He is. What I'm saying is, Faison was in this room. I walked in, and he was waiting for me. And he had Duke tied up and gagged. You saw Lavery and Faison together? Yeah. I, I saw both men in the same room at the same time, which blows a hole in Luke's theory that Faison somehow had his face transformed with plastic surgery. Tell me, how did Olivia come to be looking at Lavery? And see Faison. Well, maybe it was the LSD. Now, please, will you get the hell out of here? I don't know. It was a premonition, Robert. Maybe she knew what was going to happen here tonight. What Faison was going to come after Duke. <laughs> Talk about twisting the evidence to suit There's yourself. No evidence. It was a hallucination. It doesn't mean anything. But what is certain is that Duke and Faison are two different people. Well, Robert, I think perhaps you owe me an apology. Duke tied up, and he threatened to shoot him. And yet Duke's standing here? Yes, because he overpowered Faison's man, and he got free. What happened to Faison? I don't know. He was gone by the time I came to. What do you mean, came to? Well, Faison gave me a sedative, and I was out for a few minutes. You know, Duke and Faison may not be the same person, but they're obviously working together. No, he would never be associated with Faison, ever. Well, Robert, I thought you and I settled our differences. Why can't you accept the fact that I have not done anything? We ran into a Dr. Albrecht at the clinic who admitted that Faison was a patient. So? That doesn't connect him to Duke. We showed her a photograph of Lavery. And what did she say? Swore up and down she didn't know him. Oh, God. Well, why are you wasting our time? Can you just leave, please, both of you? You don't know a Dr. Albrecht, do you, Lavery? No. I don't believe that I do. Well, that's interesting. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's interesting because right after we had gone, after swearing she'd never seen you before, she made a phone call. To you. are just clutching at straws to support this absurd theory. Well, if it's so absurd, why are you so flustered? Well, in case you hadn't noticed, you interrupted a very important evening. I can see you went all out here. Really cool. Mmm. This is hot. Oh. Anna doesn't want you, Scorpio. You lost. She wants me. So please, be a gentleman and take yourself and your ridiculous friend and get out of here. Could you tell me, um, about this? Supposed phone call between Dr. Albrecht and Duke. Oh, Anna, please, you can't possibly be taking this seriously. I just to clear things up. No, you've given them proof. You've given them an eyewitness account. There's no way I could be anything to do with this phase on. But still, they, they, it's persist that I'm something to do with an obsessed arch-criminal who's altered his face to, to fool you? Well, well, you're right about that bit, about the arch-criminal bit. And now they're trying to fabricate some association between me and somebody that I haven't even met. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this is, uh... This is Obrick's phone. We, uh, we confiscated it. What do you say we redial the last number called? <sighs> Hello? 
Yeah. There's two missed calls from that number. She was obviously phoning you. Oh, the only thing that's obvious is these two got a hold of my phone number. And then they picked up a prop phone in order to set me up. Set you up for what, Lavery? All this proves is you and Faison are the same doctor at the same clinic. It's nothing to get upset about. Well, I'm getting upset because I was trying to have a romantic evening with my ex-wife, in case you hadn't noticed. But her ex shows up with this ridiculous lackey trying to make her doubt me. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, admittedly, yes, Robert's methods and motives are questionable at best, but McBain would never manipulate evidence. Hannah, oh. do you doubt me? Are you getting a little hot under the collar, Library? I don't know about him, but it's... Must be a thousand degrees in here. Yeah. What is it with the heat? Yeah, I turned the heat up. Why? Oh, it's Lackey's instinct. What are you talking about? Do you know? We're all sweating, except for... Except for you, Lavery. Why is that? You're actually asking me why I'm not sweating? I spent 20 years in the Turkish prison. You get very used to the heat. Well, your face is dry. Yeah, but why wouldn't it be? I mean, your face isn't sweating because it's not your face. What are you talking about? We've already established that... Your no face on doesn't need to be surgically altered to look like Lavery. Sorry about that, Duke. Got that part of it all wrong. Faison's a master of covert ops. He'd have access to state-of-the-art resources, everything he... To make himself a perfect likeness of Duke Lavery. A mask? What are you, mad? A mask is perfect. That's the reason you saw the both of them together. Now, he wouldn't have minded showing his ugly dial to you, so he takes off the Lavery mask and puts that on him. Oh, would you listen to yourself just for once? You take paranoia to a whole different level. Was Lavery gagged the entire time you saw him? Yes, he was. So you never heard his voice? And you were conveniently unconscious when Lavery comes in and takes out the henchman. I mean, how would you know what went on during that time? I wouldn't. Faison comes back, takes off, takes out the goon, puts on the Lavery mask just in time for you to wake up. But Duke shot Faison's accomplice. He was here, he was dead on the floor. Oh, come on, the guy's a psycho. What does he care about offing one of his own? Oh, I've had enough of this. If you won't leave, then I'm leaving. No, no. Will you come with me? Yeah, all right. Oh, I know, please. You're smarter than this. No, I'm gonna go with him. Why don't you take me to that... that little inn, do you remember it? In the Andermatt? We got snowed in. Yes. Of course I will. What's wrong? We never went to the on-demand. We never got snowed in. Okay, so I lied to you. Yeah, you did. Okay, I lied to you. I lied because I... I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I didn't... Because I've forgotten something that was important to you. Something that was romantic, that wasn't... But... You're taking their side. You're, you're taking their side against me. Are you turning this around no, on me? No, no. No. I'm not turning it around. It's just I'm hurt. My feelings are very hurt. Now, I'm going to leave. When you come to your senses, I'll come back and I will get you. Deteriorates latex. I really hope we're right. Agent Cross. Let Johnny B. No. Maybe I should have contacted you. Please, please, yeah, we, we need to get him. you to the hospital. I can't let you see me like this. I want to see how bad it is, please. Hotel we'll right. Clear. stole another part of my no. life that I cherish. No way. You're a monster. No, and I'm not. I love you. You know I love you. Oh, I always loved you. You just 
You know that. All I want you to do is to love me back just a little bit. Senator McBain, here you go. Anna, please. Yeah, please. It's all yours. Anna. Just, Anna. just, just a minute. Just a minute. 